Hello everyone, uh, this is a quick update on the battle for Izium plus 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 plus. So, um, some up, uh, some news uh, on the Izium. So, in, in case you don't know where is Izium, uh, this is the this the entire of Ukraine. Izium is here. Okay, so according to uh, to to the, my one of the Russian sources they uh, they mentioned that uh, the Ukrainian forces are still within the uh, Izium so uh, mainly in the outskirt of uh, Izium whatever that is supposed to mean so I believe they are mostly also still in the south and uh, so as a result the 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 borders that I that's on the map I have actually made some amendment to make it more towards the outskirt and towards the south uh, we can kind of also confirm uh, through Rush some Russian sources that uh, the Russian forces have cleared the central district of hostile forces within Izium and they are already you know as usual you know do their humanitarian stuff so uh, which is why you know this news came out because uh, this like chatter came out because they're saying that the humanitarian aid is now there uh, in the central because they cleared uh they cleared the the place uh, out of of the enemies so so we have some kind of shape of how you know where they are and there's actually a lot of places for the ukrainians to hide because all these are thick forests there's uh some big buildings uh looks like factory or warehouse there's also more forest towards this side so there's a lot of places for the Ukrainian forces to hide and not to mention there are a lot of houses around uh, and then more forests uh, so so it's not a easy place to uh, to fight because of the thick forest so a lot of place uh, for anyone to hide including the Russians uh, and um, there's also uh, this uh, confirmation of the fighting here uh, because we actually, uh, because this was originally, you know, a, just a, a source where I saw they talk about this battle, uh, between, uh, Yare Mifka and Studenok. And then, uh, and they were saying that, uh, it, this was in the night. And then they say that at, at a Boro, Bohoro Dishne, they actually heard explosions. And then we actually have confirmation that the bridge over here, has been uh, destroyed by the Ukrainian uh, forces to slow down the advance of the Russians. So it's actually across the Savinsky Donetsk River. And we have actually a photo evidence. This is actually one of the, I think three or four or five, you have the source here. So if you want to see it, see the post uh, by yourself, you can actually uh, go to defensepoliticsasia.com slash Ukraine. Uh, go to the map actually click on this you can actually click on this link uh, you need to have a telegram account um, it's not difficult to register a telegram account you just need a phone number so uh, it's just like a whatsapp just that it have uh, all these uh, group functions and page channel functions where uh, you can follow these kind of things and uh, so uh, this, is a, this is a quick update and I think maybe I want to share one story I saw you can actually you know feel free to view it as propaganda by the Russian side uh, but I feel that it kind of uh, give us a glimpse of what actually happened at Izium so let me pull out pull out my stuff so uh, I actually have uh, this uh, this telegram channel which I basically use it for just note taking so uh let's translate i think it's this one okay oops no that's the semiconductor one okay so uh raisins is actually izium <laughs> somehow izium got translated into raisins so uh this is a very interesting post that i saw around two days ago and then i did not talk about this because i cannot kind of uh, verify this and uh uh, I can't really you know plot this into the map because I, I cannot tell when the time is so you can also view this as propaganda you can also view this as a 
war story. Okay, so really depends on how you want to look at it. So the main territory of the city was is controlled by the Russian troops. This we already knew uh, two days ago. The armed forces of Ukraine are knocked out of the city center, but re retreating. So while they retreat, so I, I will actually uh, paraf paraphrase so that the English makes sense. So the Ukrainians blew up two road bridges and found themselves in the lower peninsula. So the Savinsky Donetsk River creates a bend in the city and the southern part of the city on which the television tower is located is under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. So uh, uh, I don't know where I do not know where is actually that that tower. So, but you can see that this is the peninsula they are talking about, and then there's these two main road bridges. I believe this is the two that they blew up. This one and this one. I think this is not. Uh, maybe also this one. I'm not sure which one they actually blew up. There's actually three crossings around here. So coming back to the story. Um, so in this part of the city, uh, there's a concentrated up to a, bat a battalion of enemy infantry reinforced with mortar and MLRS. Uh, multiple launch rocket system in case you are not sure. Or you can you may know them as GRATS. Or cut you sure if it's World War II. So in, in the southern part of the city leads to another bridge, a pedestrian bridge. So during the attack on Izum, a company of Russian uh, infantry was able to break through to the southern part of the city. So the motorized infant, uh, riflemen occupied the bridgehead and despite all the attempts by the Susniks, I have no idea why it's this, <laughs> the Ukrainians to dislodge the Russian soldiers, uh, the soldiers continued to hold on and then they gradually you know, expand this bridgehead under the Russian control. <clears throat> so, um, pedestrian bridge um, in the south. And this looks like a road. So, I have no idea where is that pedestrian bridge they are talking about. So, okay, finding fail. I cannot find it. So, never mind. Come back to the story. So, uh, so we where are we? So in order to encircle the armed forces of Ukraine in the city and move further towards Slavians, which is Slovian, Slovians, um, the Russian armed forces uh, launch a pon uh, pontoon crossing below Izum. So I think some of you actually mentioned that uh, when you know during the earlier times when I was updating about Izum, you all say that the Russians have pontoon bridges. Uh, so you all are right. The Russians managed to launch a pontoon crossing at the south of Izium and it was two days of fighting uh it was how where the two days of fighting took place so so uh somewhere in the south to be honest i have no idea uh which south which part but my guess uh my guess is actually uh, around here or around here uh, the reason being, this is the only place where roads, you know, there is road access to this side of the river where you can actually put a pontoon bridge and actually cross over to the southern Izum. Uh, if you talk about the other side, you can see the thick, the thick forest. There's actually no clearing and no roads uh, all the way for a very, very long distance. So I believe that uh, where the... Pontoon crossing is actually around this region where there is actually road access. So they actually fought in that uh, location where they have the pontoon bridge for over two days. So the deep Re reconnaissance company crossed the river and trench itself, uh, fought and guard the crossing when while bout of the armored vehicles and infantry tried to cross it. So uh, the U Ukraine forces conducted very accurate uh, mortar and artillery fire along the crossing. So, and then it's so so accurate that you know the APC actually you know, um, swayed due to all the close explosions. So in the dead of the night, uh, in the area of the village of Kamenka, which I also cannot find, I have no idea where is Kamenka. I'm not sure it's Kamenka, maybe it's here. So, um, an airstrike was carried out on a cluster of enemy equipment and infantry, infantry. Uh that was hiding in the forest. So uh, they say you were soon able to show you the uh, footages of it. Uh, but so I never saw this anyway in the end. 
uh unfortunately yesterday the the during uh while they are holding the bridge here a scout fell into the river and died so, so a mine hit him right in uh this is actually not mine i think the translation is wrong this is actually an artillery shell so now as the ukraine uh forces uh near you zoom they he would like to you know compliment them that they fight competently the mortar and artillery fire is very accurate and and in the forest east and west of Izium and as well as to the south along the road to Slovians, fortified areas has been created and from which mobile groups constantly come out and with nomadic mortars and MRS withdrawing from their places literally after the first salvo. So I personally not exactly clear this is the Russians or the Ukrainians. It could be the Ukrainians uh, you know, taking a shoot and scoot tactic for their artillery. So the enemy uses drones, they have Buki and Manpads in service. Not sure what is Buki. Uh, so the Russian uh, Air Force, you know, have to tread around this area very carefully. So in the ter ter territory cleared of the enemy, the Russian uh, troops really distributed uh, humanitarian aid and tried to establish basic life uh, back to the local residents. So at first the locals uh, are very cautious and then now uh, the bulk of it are very friendly. So now the Izium direction is becoming a priority. If the offensive of the Russian armed forces is successful, it will surround the entire Donetsk grouping of the enemy and connect with the troops of the uh, LDNR. is actually a Luhansk Democratic uh, Republic. And then create a boiler, which is actually a encirclement for several tens of thousands of soldiers of the armed forces of Ukraine. Kiev is well aware of this and they are making every effort to prevent the advance of the Russian troops. So I thought this is a very interesting story. So it gives us a glimpse of what actually happened here. So if you kind of lost, what happened was that the Russians were fighting through here and then the Ukrainians retreated through the bridge and then they blew up the bridges. And then um, I think this is a maybe this is that pedestrian bridge they are talking about. So so they blew up the road bridges and then there are uh, some brave company of uh, Russian infantry quickly rushed through and they ma managed to create a bridge head to allow more uh, reinforcement to go in. Then they continue to fight through the center of Izium. Then while that is happening, uh, the, the Russians actually found a way to build a ponton bridge, I believe it's around this region and then they had uh, the recon the reconnaissance actually go over first and, and secure a bridge hit while they continue to allow armor vehicles and more infantry to actually stream through to fight into the south of Izium. So the Ukrainians unable to hold the city area, uh, they actually retreated into the forest, which is this forest, this forest, and uh, the southern forest here. So the east and west and the southern forest and this is where they try to hold up as well as uh, around the area of Kamen uh, Kamienka. And then uh, the Russians did an airstrike on the, the troops around the Kamenka, Kam uh, Kam uh, Kamienka and then uh, took out quite a number of them. And then for the Ukrainians, they continued to hide in the forest and then they, they employ a shoot and scoot tactic where they came out of the forest fire and then they retreat back into the hide hidings and this is how they are fighting in Izium. uh however um once they clear they come of, of, of course as i mentioned they will do the humanitarian aids so this is actually the uh the better story of Izium. uh of course uh take it with a pinch of salt uh like, like i said it could be propaganda but it, it does sound very credible, uh, especially you know how the the guy actually do also complement the 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 proficiency of the Ukrainians, which actually also shows how difficult the Russians are having against the 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 very well trained uh, Ukrainian forces. They are definitely definitely not below uh, the Russian forces in terms of uh, training and proficiency. I think they simply lack the strategic depth and the resupply that uh, the Russians have. And of course, uh, technologically wise, uh, the weapons are also you know, 
weaker as until they actually had uh, the end laws and the stingers to you know and the javelins to help to you know kind of balance the power a bit so this is the the story of Izium as well as the quick update for the battle of Izium plus plus so um hope you enjoy that uh uh and so just to add the plus plus part uh regarding this force of uh east of Bavinko, there is still no uh sign of them or no news about them so not sure what happened over here so that's the quick that's the not so quick but quick update and then i'll see you in the next update